uh, questions from someone? I know you said you don't give a, like an in-depth analysis of the quarterback immediately after the game, but we did throw five touchdown passes and made some really impressive plays out there. What did you see? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, he kept some plays alive. Um, obviously, we had um, some big plays that he created, you know, either in the pocket or got outside of it and and, and kept his eyes downfield and, and did some some really nice things you know at the uh, with some explosive plays that uh, um, really the first play of the game was he sat in there and just in first or second play and and went through progressions and and so um, he was still able to improvise a little bit and, and and get the ball down the field. So uh, it's it's uh, to do all that and and uh, you know not have the ball really even tipped by the other team or or really threaten a, an interception. I thought he 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 uh, he managed the uh, managed the game well. Did the return of Knight have an effect you expected? Yes, I I think uh, I think you know what Lath brings is uh, attitude and experience. And um, you know he's he's played a lot of football, and um, you know you got some guys that, there that I think it's been able to. What we were able to do was really just make two moves, the least amount of moves. Is move move Donovan the right tackle where he's been playing tackle the whole time. You know, it's just he's he's used to being on the edge and exposed out there, but it's just it's right tackle instead of left, and then and then and then uh, really just moving a right tackle to left guard. So, you know, there's minimal movement. There's good practice, you know, with that. We had to be careful with Donovan, you know, playing left tackles hard, you know, for, for the first two weeks. Uh, you know, and so he got, you know, that, that BYU team is pretty good. The, the pass rusher, and, and uh, you know, that was his first start. So, um, you know, he's gotten better. And I think, you know, what you saw tonight was um, – also gave us the opportunity to be effective in, in pass protection. We got a long ways to go. Don't don't get me wrong, um, but certainly um, that group was uh, was more solid tonight than they've been. And I think you know that the addition of Lath, you can't you can't overlook that. Well, you know, I I thought uh, you know we 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 played a lot of guys. You know, it was a weird it's a weird game in the fact that you know they. they they were on the field the whole night, and uh, I was just looking at the drive charts. I said, I've never seen a drive chart like that. I think the longest time we had the ball was two minutes, and we didn't punt. So, you know, that puts a lot of pressure on your defense. Um, and as a coach, you know, you're, you're trying to you – know, what do you want? You know, do you want to score? Do you not want to score? Do you want to slow it down? And, uh, you know, that, that puts your defense in, in, in a bad position. Um, because they they played the whole night. I mean, I looked up and we had twenty some plays at halftime, twenty five plays, and and what we had ended up with sixty for the for the game, and with running the ball at the end. But you know they're on the field the whole night with with a lot of different guys, and you know we, we still you know the the things that w our discussion in the locker room was about. Hey, look, let's enjoy this, but we got to come back tomorrow and on Monday and just be honest with ourselves, just like we were last week. And uh, what are our deficiencies? Where can we get better? What do we need to do? And, and you know, there's, there's, there's uh, you know, the, the things that jump out to me is still, you know, third downs. So we talked Monday about uh, last Monday, the, the goals were explosive plays on offense, you know, talking about what we need to do for explosive plays. And those are not just bombs down the field. Those are also backside cutoff blocks and uh, perimeter blocking to spring running. And, and, and we did that tonight. I thought we did uh, a lot better job of that in, in finishing blocks and, um, you know, line given time for and Khalil to buy time. The guy's getting open. So it's not just the quarterback and the receiver. It's it's everybody and, and eliminating those explosive plays defensively and making people earn down the field. Um, was We did better with that, I thought. But uh, the, the big deal is, you know, we got to get off the field on third down on defense. And, you know, we got our first sack. And we got our first turnover tonight, and you know, and Marcel was, you know, it was still, you know, trying to get things. I say hey, you got to get one before you get any. So, you know, it's a tonight's a glass half full night. It might not be on Monday, but it's tonight. It is. 
Huh? I just, I was, uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> who was that, Pandy? Yeah, I thought so. I was just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a flow of the game. You know, I don't think like that. It's like, oh, my goodness, that's our first sack. You know, I don't, it's, you know, it's not like that. Um, maybe it should be. I don't know. But, um, you know, it was, it's a negative yardage play. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, I thought Pandy has made some big time, you know, he's, he's becoming more and more in that rotation, you know, where is, you know, Colin Schooler played almost every snap against BYU. And now he's in that rotation in, at linebacker and he's, he was, he's been effective. He was effective tonight doing some things. How about what it means to have your first one here? It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, anytime, you know, you win, it's, it's always, it's always good, right? But, uh, you know, your first win is, is something that, you know, you always remember things and, and what happens. And, um, you know, for us, it's, it, it's been, you know, we've been, been through a lot in the last couple of weeks. So you can take a deep breath right now and, and you know, and then uh, it's back to work tomorrow because we, we got, we got conference play. So, you know, it's, uh, it's already, I'm sorry, we'll be back to work today. <laughs> uh, I am going to go home and not sleep here, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, you just look around at, at football today. Uh, it, it's one thing that I'm not used to is two things I'm not used to is Monday night football at, at five o'clock. All right. And I walk out and it's like, what are they doing on? Is that live? Yeah, that's part of it. And then, um, I think I watched every, every in between meetings about every football game there was. And you know, starting this morning, so it's a little bit different from that standpoint. But uh, you know, it's uh, I wouldn't trade for anything. So we're, it's it's great. Well, uh, you know, we talked a little bit. It's it, and it had to do with personnel also. I think you saw uh, if you closely, we were, we were more of a four down front today than than we have been um, than you know in in previous weeks. Um, you know, we're, we're missing a couple people. You know, obviously, you saw some guys in boots and, and on scooters that uh, uh, that uh, we we could use. And so the improv improvisation with uh, personnel was getting the personnel out there was as big as anything. And then what those guys could do with with uh, you know with our injury injury situation up front. I would say both. I don't know if that makes sense. Just because of, um, you know, it's you know, we're not hiding anything. You saw you know, a couple. We got a couple guys that had one with a boot on, one on a, on a scooter, um, that are starters. And then, you know, the the, the other guys are, are guys who have, um, it, you know, in, in certain positions across the board on offense and defense have, have been. Um, some are battlefield promotions, and, and some are, are, are promotions that. Uh, uh, that uh, based on performance, so there's a little bit of both of those. Yeah, you know, there's they're they're you know they're working their way back into it. You know, you got you know Jace has had had struggled early through camp, and and you just we just didn't want to to push a lot of things with him. You know, Scotty was the same. You know, Scotty was able to work out for the better part of what eight months, and so you know you can't just you know, he's he's his workout, whatever he was doing, is a little bit different than you know the, the four day a week running and, and lifting in the summer and everything else. So, you know, we we, we got to work those guys back in slowly, um, but uh, they're coming along. Everybody's tired. All right. No more. Thank you. Oh. Any completion, <laughs> whether it's touch or strong or whatever it is, and you know he he was he was pretty accurate tonight, and and I thought he took I mean he he took care of the ball and for the most part and there there weren't a lot of dangerous throws. Does that make sense? Into double coverage or anything like that. He um, and when he scrambled, he kept his eyes downfield and, and put the ball on people instead of having it sail. So you know it's. Uh, 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I thought he, like I said, I thought he managed the game well. Were you surprised it could be like you results today? Um, no. No. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, that's a veteran team, right? So um, that's a veteran team that was sixth in the country last year in total defense with, what, eight or nine guys back. So they're capable of, of doing that to a lot of people, particularly in that style of football. Okay? All right. Thank you. Um, I think it really gave the defense confidence a lot because we worked hard all week, uh, emphasized on doing your job. Coach Sumlin um, emphasized that a lot, doing your job all week. Um, came out strong. We just got to be more physical, I think. Huh? It was good. Uh, it was just good to be back with my guys, you know. It was hard being at home two weeks in a row. Uh, it felt great, and uh, I'm ready to keep going. We came to play. Uh, we didn't come out in uh, BS. We actually came. Everybody did their job, and everybody was firing all cylinders, and and it just showed what we could do. Um, speaking of showing what they can do, Khalil was really kind of on fire tonight. Is that just kind of just a matter of time before? Yeah, definitely. Play yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just a new offense. You know, it takes time for, with anybody. Uh, I mean, Khalil's the best quarterback in the country. So, I mean, now he's on. Now he's on and rolling. So, let's go. Uh, I mean, pretty good. You know, I didn't, I didn't forget nothing. I've, I've played a lot. I've, uh, I've done it before. So, I mean, I know what it is. I know how fast the game is. So, I mean, I just, you know, I just picked up where I left off last year. Um, coming into this game, our coach said uh, we need to get a sack because we don't have any sacks, um, any turnovers, none of that. So worked on that a lot this week, uh, put some new plays in, and I just did my job. What was your biggest critique of the defense tonight? There was something you guys could be We need to be more physical. Everybody on the uh, D-line, linebacker, secondary, everyone needs to be more physical. Yeah, it's just a mindset because we got the best strength coaches in, in the country right now. So we just got to play more physical. Everyone got to want it more. Good. I mean, the first two weeks, you know, like everyone else started off rocky. I think uh, we're missing the guys that were out, but now that everybody's kind of back and everybody's going. I think uh, I think we're really rolling and everybody's clicking and. And is everybody's getting more comfortable with the offense, and uh, I'm, I feel good about it. Mitch, you talked about uh, kind of that new look offensive line earlier in the week. Uh, did you get a sense of the, how the communication went in the first time out? Yeah, I mean, it was great. Uh, you know, Josh McCall is a new center, and all the communication really starts with him. So he's, he's out there, and he's being vocal, and he knows what to do. And uh, we're, we're out there just listening, going off him, and uh, he's a big part of it. I think just learning the playbook uh, allows me to just play uh, easier and flow, just enjoy the game now. Instead of um, worrying about my assignment so much, I'm able to just enjoy the game, play more fluently. Oh, yeah, Lee Anderson. Yeah, he came from stud position. And he played middle? Yeah, he played middle. Kind of a uh, yeah, we just have a rotation, whatever Yates wants. But Lee knows the plays, Lee does his job. And whenever we do our job, we make plays.
Yes. How did it feel to finally get one? When you guys came close there in the second quarter a couple times, the ball was on the ground. It yeah. feels great to get one for the whole entire defense. This is what we wanted, get some momentum, finally get one. So we have to get one to get two. So hopefully we go on pick into the pack play, causing turnovers, getting picks. Can you take us through the, uh, the interception? Take us through the interception. Uh, basically, the ball got tipped, went in the air. Fell in my fell in my lap. It's an easy one. Quill, what what if anything felt different for you tonight? Um, we just made plays. You know, like I said last week, you know, we're one play away. And uh, as you can see tonight, we made that one play and you know, I think that, that showed an outcome of the game. Uh, he's doing well. You know, he, he's catching the ball whenever I need him to. You know, whenever I'm in, in trouble, I look for him, you know, and it's somebody that's you know he has for sure hands and that helps a lot being a quarterback. Um, I would say us just working hard together, you know, us knowing that, you know, it's going to be a lot of doubt, you know, so why don't we use that doubt and, you know, combine that, you know, actually, you know, do something special. Um, nothing different, you know, like I said last week, we just needed one more play, you know, we won't play away from making a touchdown, you know, as you can see, like Sean, he, did what he did, Tony did what he did, Sean did what he did, Devon Cooper, Cedric Peterson. You know, like I said, we're one play away. So I think, you know, them, you know, actually taking that to heart and, you know, making plays for me tonight, that helped a lot. Just like Khalil said, it was just executing the offense. I, I've been saying this since summers. We got a great, great game plan, and there's no secret formula. There's nothing special we're doing. It's just going out there and trust the coaches to put you in a successful position, and that's what we did tonight. I helped a lot. You know, uh, we try not to make a lot of excuses, but you know, it does help to have him back. You know, he's been in the program for a couple of years. You know, he's a he's a great left tackle that you know I'm I'm safe with. You know, and he you know he understands that, and we have a, a great relationship to where you know he's going to keep me safe. What does he bring? Um, what's the word? I would say experience. Experience, yeah. I, he brings a lot of experience. You know, like I said, we have a lot of young guys up there. You know, a lot of guys that are this is their first year playing. So it helps to have him at left tackle, being the older guy that you know sets the tone for the offensive line. Jarius, um, what would be your team defense The biggest critique is basically communication. Most of the time is. It's us communicating to defense, like just letting other players know. We communicate, we all get our job done, and everybody's where they belong, and we make plays like that way. So as long as we communicate, we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we for sure, we're going to be more physical coming up. Yeah, we're going to emphasize that coming up in practice this week. And in the next game, for sure, we're going to be a physical defense that cause havoc. So that's more of an important thing. Um, how would that be frustrating? I'd say the, the, the previous two weeks, I mean, you guys lost. What, what, was that, what was that period like? What was losing like? Yeah. Losing. So yeah. How would you put that into work? What that, like, how that affects you? Or, you know? We lost. <laughs> Whenever you lose, it's, you don't feel good. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Time for one more question for the show. I mean, like I said, we're one play away. You know, like I said last week, after we made one play, then the results will start to show, and it will start to be start to be a better outcome. And like I said, we're one play away, so that causes on defense. You know, Jar getting the interception that helps us out a lot. That gives the offense a lot of motivation. Really, just you know, Tony making plays, Sean making plays, all the receiver court making plays. I think that that really helps us out as a team.